On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Eric Roman, otherwise known as DJ Empire. Now let's talk about using vintage turntables with digital receivers. What's meant by that is that turntables put out an analog signal. It's an actual waveform, it's the audio that you hear as if it were coming from its natural point, the creator of the music, the band, whatever it may be. Digital receivers, pretty much any audio equipment that processes sound and pretty much makes it uh, almost like a CD audio quality. The important thing about doing this is that you have clean records and good needles and good equipment to produce this audio because if you have any dirt, any imperfection in the record, you're going to get uh, an amplification in the sound uh, through the digital receiver. Um, the reason people would want to do this is there's more warmth coming from an analog signal opposed to a digital signal. It feels like there's more love coming to you from the music. You feel emotion. You feel what the song is actually doing opposed to hearing too tinny of a sound or a digitized sound. You could really tell when you listen to an MP3 to a record. You'll hear certain imperfections that an MP3 can't have uh, that really makes it important. To, to people who enjoy music, who, who enjoy listening to different styles of music, open formats. Um, you feel more in touch with the music as if it were part of, you were sitting watching the composer work in front of you opposed to having it digitally mastered, same copy over and over and over. It has its own personality. So basically using a vintage CERN table with a digital receiver is to capture the original essence of the music that was originally created by the composer instead of having a digital copy over and over and over. This has been DJ Empire. Thanks for watching.